Howdy guys, in today's video we're going to be looking at a practical of the remnant feature. But before that, let's have a quick intro first. So today's video can be found on softwaretraining.co.za we make short and easy to watch problem solving videos and we also have daily updates. Otherwise, we're into the program here. So like I mentioned, there's going to be another practical on using the remnant feature. And this is not going to be so much an in-depth of what um, these features do, but rather just a basic workflow. Also, just a small disclaimer, like I normally mention, this actual workflow might vary depending on your um, desired outcome. But when it comes to remnant, it's probably going to be very similar um, as to the bridges and uh, micro joints could change a bit so now what i want to do first of all i want to make a new sheet now this is quite important that you know what size this sheet is because when you use your remnant it's going to be relevant to the size so i'm going 2000 by 1000 i'm going to set my thickness here to six and then say okay now with our sheet we want to add some parts so we have something to cut out i'm just going to once again grab something simple about 500 200 and let's add about three of these I'm gonna make it a uh, nesting so we can quickly add them set the speed a bit down nest there we go very simple we've got our little uh, shapes on we want to cut out and obviously we want to save this sheet and ideally in a way so that the program can read what is left so we can build upon that so now in order to do that I'm gonna go to my cam Go to my remnant tool now as you guys can remember we've got the two different versions we can use we've got the orta and we've got the normal so um, i'm gonna go orta for now just so that we can snap it nicely have a nice clean remnant then i'm gonna click on my remnant tool it's gonna ask us do we want to bring it from the vertical or the horizontal i'm gonna say horizontal which means no and then i'm gonna make my first click over here and then i might be a little bit on the edge there let me just go a little bit further as well there we go and then click outside the box here at the bottom there we go now we've got our remnant here on the side some dimensions so we can choose to rotate it or not but like i mentioned we're not going to go into much of the settings then very importantly i'm going to click save i'm going to just save it to a remnant file remember where this is your location is quite important say so save and yes then i'm going to say okay and then um or oh, wait for us to finish shaving should i say and then I'm going to say OK over here. So now what we can do is I'm going to close this up. Let's say we've done our project. Now we need to have other cutouts on that same remnant file. Then I'm going to go um, file, make new sheet or just click here, new sheet. And then I'm going to click the right size. And then under the size, I'm going to go here, import remnant. So we're going to select that, select our remnant that we saved as and then say open. Here we go, we've got our remnant. You can see it looked the same as the one we exported previously. Saved, and I'm gonna say okay. Then set our thickness, I'm gonna set to six again and say okay over here. And there you see, we've got our remnant in. So now we can put all our other cutouts over here and carry on with the project and not waste any material um, for the project. So yeah, otherwise uh, that is it on the practical. So just a quick recap, the things that's most important is um, obviously make sure your new sheet is a set size then after you've done your remnant save it to a file and then um, when you want to load it you have to go new sheet select it and say import remnant but yeah otherwise in the meanwhile if we head here to software training.co.za you guys will notice we've got a variety of different softwares we do cover and you can also isolate your search on the top right if you do not, however, find the training videos you're looking for, just simply go here, request the training video, fill in the mini form, and then we'll do our best to try and make that for you. But otherwise, thanks guys for watching, and cheers.